Hi everybody, it's Music Theory Thursday. And remember yesterday when we saw that clip of that woman playing the harp? And I told you that I'd never played the harp, but I found it fascinating. So today I found a video of a professional harpist explaining how she plays the harp and what each of the strings does and, and how the sound works. So I thought that would be cool for this week's Thursday lesson. So let's watch this clip about the harp. Hi, my name is Ruth Holden and this is my concert pedal harp. It's about 100 years old and it has 47 strings. Three quarters of the strings are made from gut and the bottom quarter are made from steel. The shorter the string, the higher the sound. The longer the string, the lower the sound. It has a range of about six and a half octaves, which is slightly less than a piano has, but we read our music in the same way that a pianist would, with the right hand playing in the treble clef, and the left hand playing, playing in the bass clef. As a visual guide, we have different coloured strings. The red strings are C's, and the black strings are the F's. A very important thing that a harp needs to do is to change key, and we do that rather a lot. We change key by pressing down any of the seven pedals at the base of the instrument. Each pedal is named after one note of the scale. I've got my foot on the D pedal at the moment, and at the moment also it'll be in flat. If I press it down, it'll go into natural. If I press it down again, it goes into sharp. So it's sharpening and flattening it by a semitone each time. And what, how this happens is the pedals activate rods that run up the column of the harp and plates that run down the neck of the harp. And then these turn these little discs here. And I'll just show you how they work. You can see them actually turning around. So they're pinching on the strings. In harp playing, we never use our little finger. And when we play chords, you can see that our little finger would not be able to extend further down and play. It's just not long enough. So chords have to be written with four notes in each hand, like this. And also, when we play arpeggios, it's always runs of four notes. The famous technique you can do on the harp is the glissando and you can really go to town with these and some composers really do. And this gives it the really heavenly image that the harp is so famous for. The role of the harp in the orchestra, we don't really fit into any category in the orchestra. It is a completely unique instrument. It's kind of got strings, but we don't really belong to the string sections. But it's also a little bit percussive, but we don't belong to the percussion section either. This instrument is about 100 years old. It was made between about 1920 and 1930 in Chicago by the Wurlitzer Company. One of the questions that I get asked a lot is, why did I choose the harp? And uh, I don't really know why I chose the harp. It was just something I always wanted to do. Uh, from about six, I just remember always saying that I was going to play a gold harp one day, and here I am now, and I do play one. The reason I like playing the harp is because of its unique sound, and it is a really unique instrument. You get a lot of attention when you play the harp. A lot of people want to look at the instrument and they also want to watch you play. It's just the chords and everything you can play. It's just such a resonant, lovely instrument. Wasn't that interesting? I learned something new today too. All right, I will see everybody next week. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye-bye.